Alright, am I live? I think so. Alright, am I live? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. This is basically the beginning of every stream, is me making sure it actually goes through to YouTube. And looks alright. And doesn't sound like shit. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? Hey, what's up, MJ Games? For those of you who are watching the not live stream version, the archived version, I just want to point out that the Duelist of the Roses Let's Play series is a Patreon play brought to you by Virginia, who is a big supporter of this channel, and I appreciate them quite a lot. You can check the link in the description below for Virginia's Twitter page, or you can follow them and give them a shout out for helping support the channel. Hey, what's up, Jerron? Hey, what's up, Michael? Welcome to the chat, you guys. What's up, Pokosomer? I think... Oh, do Pokemon Emerald's fun. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to do an add-on where the chat would appear in the video. Alright, that will be next stream school. I never played Pokemon Y, but I have played Pokemon Emerald. It's my favorite Pokemon game. The last Pokemon game I played, too. I'll give people a couple minutes to join here. I don't know how many people will join. If people will. I hope they do. I think the goal for today's stream is to beat Kaiba's story in Duelist of the Roses. So I think we have to go... Brian Hill asks, any game you want at E3? Um... I'd love to hear news about the Master Chief Collection coming to PC. That'd be great. I don't know if that will happen, but I think that'd be great because one, I love all the classic Halo Trilogy games, and two, it'd be nice for the PC modding community to finally fix that game, because it still runs like shit on the Xbox One. Uh, I'd like a reason to buy the Switch, aka I'd like a new Metroid Prime game. And I'd like to see, I wanted to do this like whole write-up thing about my idea for where I want Metroid Prime to go. Um, and I would like to see it just reboot as, like, a gritty first-person shooter. Because, like, that's a niche Nintendo doesn't have, right? Like, Xbox has Halo and Gears of War for, like, their shooter genre. But, like, Nintendo's only shooter game is Splatoon, I guess. So it'd be interesting to see Metroid fill that gap. And I would like that. And that would be my reason to buy the Switch. I'd really only buy the Switch if Metroid Prime came out. Or if a new Metroid Prime came out, because I'm not really into, like, Mario or any of those games. I'm not a huge platforming fan. I don't care for FPS. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't, but first-person shooter is my favorite games to play. That's why I play a lot of Overwatch. I play a lot of Halo. I play, like, an obsessive amount of Halo. That's typically the game I'll play for fun. Typically, I try to. I've done a couple series of Halo on this channel. They don't get as many views as Yu Gi Oh! But. One day. Who needs that when you have Splatoon 2? Feels bad. I mean, it also kind of sucks that Metroid got literally no love on the Wii U. There's not a Metroid game on the Wii U. Which is like. Okay. I mean, it feels bad, but Metroid literally is like the redhead stepchild of Nintendo, uh, Nintendo's franchises. Cause like when they were doing the 25th anniversaries for like all the games, literally nothing happened for uh, Metroid's 25th anniversary. Feels real bad. Alright. Did we get started? Have I waited long enough? Well. You'd think I'd waited long enough considering I had a notification up for like 12 hours of when I was going to be streaming next. But. I have something stuck in my tooth and it's driving me fucking insane. We'll wait the full, we'll wait the full five minutes. I'll do a bunch of pre-game chat. Alright, I don't really play uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield, but. I play a lot of other shooters. I mean, I'll play them, though, I guess. I shouldn't say I don't play them, because I've actually beaten every single Call of Duty game. Never played Battlefield, though. 
but I have beaten every single Call of Duty. And played, I've prestiged at, in a couple of the Call of Duty games. So yeah, I guess I can't say I never play them. I don't enjoy them as much as like sci-fi shooters though. Or Gears of War. I obsessive, I've played Gears of War obsessively for a while. I got the seriously achievement where you have to get like 10,000 kills in multiplayer. That was a long period of time. <laughs> Pretty sure it's because Mimoto doesn't feel right with the series. What do you mean by that? I mean, I definitely know if what you mean is like Nintendo doesn't know what to do with Metroid. As in like, because the games don't ever sell. Like no one buys Metroid games. The best selling Metroid game was Metroid Prime 1. It sold a million copies, which if you guys know anything about like game sales, a million copies is not a lot. Like you don't have a frontier franchise not sell a million copies. Um, a Metroid Prime should definitely sell. Or a Metroid game that you like put a lot of money into and invest should sell more than a million, but it just doesn't. Which is why Nintendo doesn't come out with new Metroid games. Because they they don't know what to do. That I mean, a lot of people make fun of that Federation Force. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I maybe I throw out the trailer, but I don't want to get copyright strike. Is that Federation Force thing, where it's the new Metroid game on the DS that has that doesn't have Samus in it, and it's all about like the Federation Force Marines, and it's like all cartoony and chibi art kind of thing. That's Nintendo literally saying we don't know what the fuck to do with Metroid. Please buy it. Like please, <laughs> we don't know what to do. <clears throat> that was like their last ditch desperate attempt. I think Other M was another effort. But other M was pretty bad. So that doesn't help it either. Alright, let's get started. I'll talk more about Metroid or anything if people have continued to have questions. I am Jasper Dice Tutor. I will show you the true meaning of power. Oh, that was... Okay, great. I was actually, um... Oh, the new Doom reboot was awesome, and that's what I would want the, uh new Metroid if they reboot I want them to reboot Metroid a la Doom I don't think they will but that's what I would want labyrinth okay does that mean I can't go in here or what and this is dark is this Exodia why does it have like a robe whatever if Nintendo can't see money or come up with a follow-up game, then they just don't make it. I mean, yeah, that's like Nintendo's MO. It's like, we're gonna make the same game, like, 20 different ways. Okay, yeah, so you can't summon onto Labyrinth. What the hell? Okay. So I think Reptile- Oh, I forgot to bring up my page of all my fusions. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh shit, that doesn't work. I feel Metroid is really the only Nintendo classic that can pull off the gritty reboot thing. Yeah, it absolutely is, and uh, Metroid is also the only, um, I don't know why this Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be all about Metroid for like the first 10 minutes, but uh, <laughs> it's because I'm playing through Metroid Prime right now and I'm enjoying it, that's why I'm thinking of it. But yeah, it's the only, oh wait, how come he can enter the labyrinth? What? I've been bamboozled. Okay. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? It's because, uh, back. Metroid's the only game that would possibly be, uh, be able to do the, uh, zombie dragon? Does this fuse together? Yeah, it does. That would be able to do the, like, first-person shooter game, right? Like, you can't make a first-person shooter out of Mario. You can't make a first-person shooter out of Zelda. I guess you could with Zelda. Barely. It'd be, like, bow and arrows and shit. But Nin or Samus is capable of carrying like a dark first-person shooter game. Her backstory is like the only like twisted backstory of any of the Nintendo characters. Of like, yo, her entire family was killed by an alien race and now she's literally a bounty hunter and kills things for like her job. Um, what is this? Increases the power of winged beast monsters. Neat. So if he gets, um, Exodia, do I lose? I don't know if he's used together, but fuck Dancing L. Get 
saying to a thousand up folks, the dream. I'll probably do a write-up on it, and maybe I'll make a short video on it, of like what I want them to do with Metroid, and no one at Nintendo will listen to me, but it'll be a fun video to make. I'm like, here's what I think the reboot should be. So, I think I understand what's happening here. He's probably putting all the pieces of Exodia. If he gets all the pieces of Exodia around his deck leader, you lose. Yep, that's what I was thinking he was doing right now. Oh, he can enter the labyrinth because that's not... Okay. Gotcha. That's what I was thinking, is that he was in there because he was going to do all the pieces of Exodia like that. It all makes sense now. Okay, so we gotta get in there. I don't know how we can get in there. <sighs> if he's fusing cards together, I don't know. I believe flying monsters can go into the labyrinth. Interesting. Would winged beast monsters count? Wait. Well, I guess he's dragon, so he's not flying. No, his... My deck leader's flying, and he couldn't go in. probably can't win this fight, but, like, I need to go this way. It's gotta happen. Yeah, you shouldn't just send any flying monster concerned how I'll probably gain. I mean, I don't think that works. Like, my, uh, my deck leader's flying type, and he still couldn't go in. Alright, warrior, beast warrior. I don't know if they fused together. I should have brought up my list. Kingdom Hearts 3 will never happen. Trust me, Grandpa is like one of the five hardest enemies in the game. Neat. You need monsters like Shadow Ghoul, Labyrinth, Tanker, Feral, Rock, them to the Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Okay. Well, this is going swimmingly. <sighs> okay, the stream's late today because I woke up late. I'm actually still kind of tired. So he must have at least two of the pieces of Exodia right now, right? Are we making that assumption? This probably dies, doesn't it? Okay. I mean, you wanted to flip everyone face up. Yeah, and you die too. I mean, Valve's never gonna make another game ever again. I don't know if people care about me talking about things other than Yu-Gi-Oh in this uh, stream. But, uh, Valve's never gonna make another game again. Why would they? They have Steam now. Where they take a cut of profit from literally every other game developer that makes a game. Like, it's a win-win system. If they make another game, they risk having, like, a negative uh, name attached to them, right? Like, oh no, we didn't like whatever. So now st we don't like Steam. Baby Dragon can't kill this fucking thing either. God damn it, Baby Dragon, you're fucking with me. <coughs> ah. Allergies and shit? Okay. Move you forward. I can still send him up a little bit, Zombie Dragon. Just keep re- uh, yeah, I mean that's all I had to do is keep releasing the TF2 heads. I accidentally just moved him literally to the same spot, whatever. Let's do... I keep- I always mess up the order, because why would 2 be the one you actually summon? So dumb. Hey, what's up, Virginia? Um, 50 life points for summoning a piece of Exodia? Feels super bad. Or maybe he did some card thing and I wasn't paying it. Oh, yeah, he did some card thing I wasn't paying attention to. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, you moved twice, buddy. You go take this dude out. Or no, he moved forward, didn't he? I don't remember. If I can increase the bitrate on my stream so it doesn't look as bad when animations happen, let's see. Let me, I'm gonna increase the bitrate. Let me know if the stream gets choppy or anything. This will make it look better. If, of course, it doesn't make it lag profusely. <clears throat> okay, so I just increased the bitrate. So let me know if the stream becomes laggy or anything. I noticed it looks like super blurry. 
So we're gonna pump up that bit rate a little bit. Like I said, if anything in the stream goes wrong, because we're still in the trial period. Wait, did I lose that fight? God damn it. Alright. Someone has to kill that guy. Please. What is this? This is infinite dismissal. What is this? Disposable trap that spellbinds activated enemy card for three turns. Okay, so Dragon Zombie is gonna get spellbound because he's all the way over there by himself. I can't. Let's summon something. It's my turn again. Oh, I do have you. So we're not gonna summon anything for this turn. So I can get him out. And then can I move you? No, I cannot. Does it still look fine? Does it even look different? I'm fine with watching the stream here, just missing the amazing twitchy notes. I mean, yeah, but Solomon's Law Book? Please no. What is this? What is happening here? What is what? Is that even an actual card? Whatever. Oh shit, I can't fight this dude either because he's still, I lose my fucking bonus if I go onto this water. God damn it. But anyway, I'm, I can't stream on Twitch anymore because no one fucking watches it when I stream on Twitch. So. Like, I spent a, a long time, I mean, I guess I didn't always stream Yu-Gi-Oh, so that's probably why less people were there. I'm just gonna knock him into the graveyard. And then, Oh, I can't move Baby Dragon on him, because that'll actually kill him. Let's move you forward one. But yeah, no one came to Twitch when I was streaming very often. Uh, Deng and Rompus streams actually did have quite a few people show up. But, uh... Yeah, I wonder if the increased bitrate just won't show until uh, if I, like, end the stream. Um... Okay, so he's not surrounded by his Exodia pieces right now. Does he just have to get him on the field, or does he have to be surrounded by them? Neat. Solomon's Law Book is an actual card. It's a trap card that skips your next standby phase. Well, what did he just do there? When he used it, because it showed that symbol, but I didn't see it do shit. Also, I don't know if I have enough cards in the graveyard to have used Sword Stalker. It might have been a bit too early. But, I don't care. He has to be surrounded by them. Okay, so we do have a we have a short window of time where he's not surrounded by them. We're slowly making our way down the field, and now that we have uh, Sword Stalker, we might be able to just like march right in. Okay, you do that, Sword Stalker. You celebrate your win. Not this duelist that hated this guy. That's what everyone's telling me so far is that they really don't like it. They don't enjoy dueling this dude, um, which is unfortunate. Did I move him already? I did not. Yeah. That's fine. Needed. I needed to force this trap card to activate anyway, because I have no way to remove trap cards. So, like, that's just something that had to happen. Oh, well. Can I summon something this turn? Yeah, I can. Do fairy and dinosaur fuse together? Dragon and fairy? Let's try it. Nope. Grandpa's tough. Yeah, the uh, Danganronpa 2 stream is probably the best time I've ever had uh, live streaming. Hey, what's up, Jared? Welcome to stream. Took me a couple tries. Well, we're on our first try. Earthquake is a useful card for this dude. Do I have Earthquake? I, I legit don't remember. I have a bunch of weak-ass 12,000 point monsters, so I'm real excited about that. I don't need you to move, I need to summon a card. Oh, I have change of heart. Can I change of heart? Okay, if he summons, here's the new plan. I have change of heart. What we're going to do is if he summons a Exodia piece in one of these two spots, we're gonna change of heart and make the Exodia pieces attack each other. That'll be really funny. 
Can I recommend that you grind against Joey for cards like Meteor Dragon and Red Eyes? Because you'll need that diffusion to fight Yugi. Um, I probably won't grind. I don't really play this game much outside of the video. And I don't know if people would watch a video of me just grinding. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm summoning a monster. I got totally... I was planning out the evil that is going to be my strategy for um, change of heart. And I got distracted. By the way, thanks for the Dratini. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh shit, he actually probably won't summon an Exodia piece like that. Because... He can just summon him in, like, the shape of a plus sign. Hmm. So never mind. I'll find another use. Dragon Zombie's still a little spellbound. Why is she mo he moving this closer to me, exactly? Rest in peace, Injection Fairy Lily. Such a cute card. Aw. Just left arm fighting against the right arm, yeah. I've, uh, I'm super obsessed with Magikarp Jump. I beat it the other day, and then early last, or late last night, I guess is the actual term, they released an update, so now I haven't beat Magikarp Jump anymore, and I get to play it a bit more. I'm super stoked for that. It's more just the fact that all Yugi's monsters tend to hit for more than 2,000 plus. Well, can't wait for that. I just beat my, yeah, dude, I couldn't stop playing it either. Can't blame you. I'm, I, like, got obsessed with it. It was bad. Be careful of ritual cards when facing Yugi. Shouldn't he just, like, have Dark Magician or some shit? Okay, so he still only has... He has 500 life points left, but he must only still have two pieces of Exodia. Because he's moving out to spawn things. Which means he's panicked. Which means we're winning. Miss Change of Heart. Never forget when that... Is this still Spellbound? Christ! Okay. Please don't be a trap that kills me. Please be a monster. Oh, I think I just won. I think. I get the feels when my magic card die. Well, you gotta not take the risk to, of killing them. There's only two ways to kill the magic card. My nose itches real bad and I feel really awkward. Continues to scratch it. But anyway. There's, uh... If you leap for the berry and the tree, and then if you try to open up the uh, Pokeball that you randomly find in an event, don't open the Pokeball. It's going to be Voltorb. It's going to kill the shit out of you. Those are the only two ways your magic card can die. Yeah, I just won. Fuck you, Grandpa. I didn't take too long. Guess I got lucky. I think we're, we are gonna duel Yugi today, I think. All right, X, damn it. We want Fairy Injection Lily, can I get her? Nope. Damn it, so close, I got this fucking weird thing. You can instantly spell down a monster sometimes. Okay. Yeah, man, you don't go for the Pokeball. Any other event you can go for. You may have beaten me, but I doubt you'll survive a duel with my nephew, Yugi. He broke character. He's not supposed to say his nephew, Yugi. Because he's Trudor, or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, but this isn't Yugi. This is Bakura, right? Oh, yeah. What's his deck? Oh, my God. 750. All right, so I guess we got to go to edit the deck. Dude, that's pretty intense. Um, how should I edit this deck? Hmm. Solomon's notebook is deck count 40. That's dumb. Okay, whatever. These guys have a pretty high deck count, so let's swap out. Maybe some of the higher level things? Hang on. Sort by deck cost. Okay, this is... I want mirror wall. I want change of heart. Do I want Mimikat? 
Select and revive control board card. I mean, that's so good, though. Select one of the opponent's cards in the field, control it for one turn. I mean, I guess controlling for one turn isn't, like, OP. Let's get rid of that. And then... If you reincarnate cards, you get three new cards. Yeah, I know that. What do we want to get rid of? 700 is so low. Uh, I guess we can get rid of Flame Ghost. And then get rid of... Your deck leader can move on a crush terrain so you can sit there. Yeah. I did that in, uh, I think, like, part two or part three. I just camped my guy on, uh, crush terrain. I mean, this guy sucks. Maybe we get rid of him. He's 22. 19. Shit, I'm gonna get rid of, like, most of my good monsters. 22, 22. Fairy Dragon. Now we gotta add cards to the deck. that are like, low level. Shit, man. Also, for those of you here now, I'm probably gonna stream some Overwatch tomorrow night. I think that's currently the plan. Here's the power of fiend female monsters. That's so specific. Yeah, that's true. You can tap the uh, magic herb to have him die in your own pool, which is kind of lame. I just only, uh, luckily I didn't do that on accident, I discovered it on purpose. Electro Whip. Axe of Despair. Do you increase the power of Beast Warrior and Fiend Monsters? I don't like that, it's so specific. Axe of Despair is totally different from that in the actual game. Ugh, yarn. Alright, whatever. We don't have any... Let's just add... You add you. I still have to remove a decent level monster or a deck card thing. And I have to add a bunch still. Fuck! Oh, this is so brutal. Get rid of the con this. Get rid of Ghoul with our appetite. Let's get rid of Sorcerer of the Doomed. My deck's gonna be so trash. Time Wizard? I feel like he's still... Oh, I can make Time Wizard my deck leader? It doesn't have a leader ability, though. Hmm. This is normally why I cut the uh, deck building part out of the video. Because it's just me going, uh, I don't add this. Legendary Sword. Increase the power of warrior monsters. I don't like this... Probably the, my least favorite thing about this game is the, like, making your deck purposely weaker. Like, why? Uh, add this. Add this. 745. I don't think... I still need to add... Fuck. A bunch more cards, don't I? I mean, I guess we get rid of Bird Face, and I can add a couple lower level cards. Fuck it, let's just add these spell cards I'm not going to use at all. Shit, I need to add two more cards still. Um... No current deck has been built, yeah, so you have to use these. Hey, what's up, sir? Welcome. Add this. I'm gonna discard that as soon as something happens and add this. So I'm gonna have to remove one decent level card. I guess Armored Lizard. And then I need to add one more shit card. Right? Oh, 770 is probably still too high, isn't it? Let's see. I need 750. Crap. 757. Okay. We'll make this work. 
Maybe. Alright. Um, I guess we get rid of another high level card. Like, all my cards just suck now. Get rid of this. And then we add... Never? Never what? Um... That's still too high, are you kidding me? Alright, we get rid of... So the next lowest I can add is an 18. Alright, we'll get rid of Great Bill. Add this, 757. It's okay, so I think I got it exactly. The Dream. Yeah, so you're the one they call the Rose Duelist. I am Bakura, a Breton Gang card warrior. What does that, what does that mean? There was a time when some knew me as a Jack Cade or Mortimer. Mortimer. You stand on Celt soil where card dueling has been passed on for generations. In particular, my family has mastered the art of the dark duel. Well, shall we begin? Yeah, I'm super excited to use my 757 deck count. Deck. I'm sure only good things will happen. Well, there is. I just spilled water all over myself. There is a shit ton of crush terrain. So I guess it makes sense that I had to lower my deck thing. Because actually a bunch of my monsters are like useless now. Can I... What are you? What the fuck are you? Zombie Reaper. When this card is flipped face up, all cards located in meadow terrain are destroyed. Lol. This is... No, it's forest. I thought it was meadow. Come on. That'd be really good if that was fucking it. Alright, zombie spellcaster. I think go together. Oh, I want to summon these guys together. We'll do that next turn. Thunder and Fairy. Don't mix together. I mean, yeah, I guess they don't want you to have an OP deck, but like... So what if I do? It's a single player game. It's not like I'm playing online. Life point recovery. What did you get life points from? What? Move you over here, because I really... My plan is going to be... Look at this fucking stupid-ass flower. To get Zombie Dragon in his spawn zone. I think it will be fun. Increase the power of Winged Beast. By how many points? By 500 points. Okay. This should... If I do math correctly, it's 1,500 on the crush zones, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Afro? Honestly, though, if you ever played Forbidden Memories, this game could be cake. Never played Forbidden Memories. The, um... Do I win this? Fuck! The only Yu-Gi-Oh games I've ever played are the ones that I've done videos for on this channel. If the only time I've ever played Yu-Gi-Oh are videos on this channel. You can literally watch my entire Yu-Gi-Oh! experience on this channel. That's it. I've now played Yu-Gi-Oh! outside of it. And... Yeah, that's about it. I've recorded every instance of me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Snack, yeah. So, the good news is... We've already basically lost, because that's as powerful as the monster that I wanted to get out there. Now I gotta, like, flank him, I guess? I don't know. I have to sneeze again. I had to mute my mic. Alright, move you here. So I guess he kind of can't get attacked. 
Oh, I do have a 1700 monster. I guess I should have looked at my hand first. This is a fairy and a spellcaster. Do fairy and spellcaster go together? Probably not, but we're gonna see. Nope. Yeah, I should have probably brought up my, uh, like, fusion list, but whatever. What's your effect again? Let's try to slip face up the opposing enemy is spell behind. Oh, he has to, like, actually fight me for that to take effect. Uh, I need you to go, nope, other way. Defense position. There we go. Because he's gonna die. I assume. He's got like 300 attacks, so he's basically as good as fucking useless. Oh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So I need to summon a monster that can kill that thing. Well, I guess I do have a monster that can kill it. But the problem is I don't want to summon it on my side of the field, because then it can't go and attack him. But I think I have to, just so I don't die. Because yeah, you can kill it, but now it's stuck on my half of the field. His deck ability, he gets 50 life points every turn. Oh good. I'm sure that'll go well for me. He's not that hard. Well see, here's the problem is that everyone was saying Grandpa was really hard. And then I beat him in like a couple turns. I walked all the way over him. And everyone was saying he was really hard. So people saying that Bakura is not hard makes me worried that Bakura is actually really hard. I did 200 damage, yay. We brought him back down ever so slightly. Maybe, can you cap, does it cap him out at, uh, um, five, the, the, the 4,000 life points? Can he not go above that? Okay, so Ogre Black Shadow is now just forever dead on my side of the field, basically. Move you up a bit. Hmm. I don't know what my current strategy is for winning this duel, to be honest with you. Hey, that thing was in the last video. Except it was the purple version of it. Literally looked the exact same, except it was a palette swap. That's really funny. Rest in peace, fairy. I guess. You were fucking useless. You had 300 attack. My experience for is the fourth hardest in this game. The fact that he gets terrain bonuses in his months. Well, that's not good. Um... Oh, good. You get life points back. How exciting. I'm gonna have you fight this monster just because it'll be spellbound. And then it won't be able to kill me. Oh, do I actually win this fight? Oh no, they'll both just kill each other. Oh my god, that's the first time I guess I've actually fought on crushed terrain. That actually looks sick. That's so weird. Oh, I thought it'd be funnier if they had to just reach out and grab me. Oh, you accidentally is the hardest person to face. Oh, this is also a pallet swap of another monster. And her arms, well, her, the other ones, go out. That's really... Uh, they got a lot of pallet swap monsters in this game. Ooh, my magic herb jump training points are passed out. It's gonna be maxed out, not passed out. I'm about to pass out. I woke up really fucking tired today, and I have no idea why. I didn't do anything yesterday. I also slept for like eight hours. The crush terrain sounded really cool. I stopped talking for a little bit there just because I kind of wanted to hear it in my head. Alright, summon a monster. Ooh, wait. Summon a monster here. Let's summon my ghoul guy to fight this thing. This big giant fucking tree looking motherfucker. Why wouldn't you place this in defense position? You'd think also he would get a major boost here because he literally looks like the background. He blends in. Look at him. Oh, let's see this for a second. Whoa. 
Oh, you can't, because again, it's fucking smoked out, but... Yeah, there we go. He blends in, man. Also, it just looks kind of creepy. Kai would be the first or second hardest. Neat. I'm glad I haven't beaten any of the hardest duelists yet. That this game's just gonna keep getting harder. But like I said, the goal for today's stream is to, uh, well, he's probably gonna move. Okay, please stop, camera. Camera, please. Alright. He's probably gonna move one deeper into the crush card area so I can attack him with cool, but that's okay. I think we start moving up so I can start pitting him. Not on the turn. I'm gonna play Overwatch on YouTube, I think. I think we're gonna try that. I think I'm gonna stream it tomorrow. Oh my god, I can move twice. Life point recovery. And he also did move into the fucking crush zone. God damn it. That's fine though, because I think I can just try and pin him into the crush area. I have to move this. I'm actually about to get attacked by this thing next turn. Well, no, I'm not, because it can't. Oh, maybe because it gets terrain bonuses? Can it move over crush right directly to me? Oh, that's bullshit. Anyway, what is this thing? What does it do? When this card is flipped face up, shift all cards in defense position. No thanks. Hmm. Okay, what should I do? Should I summon Zombie Dragon here? Let's do it. Then we'll have two monsters on the edge of this area that he can't. I mean, I assume he's just gonna keep running from me. Which is the annoying part of this game, is that they just, they'll just keep running from you. Yeah, so I, I saw that coming. I probably should have moved right after I, like, announced it, that I said that would happen. But, wait, it's on the crush terrain. Oh, it's because when it's not on Meadow, it's got enough attack to actually be on crush terrain. Feels super bad, okay. Now what do we do? I summon this Karibo guy. Here. And you can attack. You can do some damage for me, buddy. I can't do much else because he's on the crush terrain. I feel like I was talking about something I gave up like midway through the thought, to be honest with you. What was I saying? I was saying something. It's fine. Streaming Overwatch tomorrow. Um, hate that the guy keeps walking off terrain. I forgot to move my deck mascot guy. So that's unfortunate. I've, I've mentioned that like twice now that it could do that. What is it doing? Oh, good. Did he get spellbound? What just happened? Oh. Oh, did he take that monster from me? Is it? It says a thousand attack, feels bad. Sam, that isn't Kariba, that's the ghost of the attic. This is fucking Kariba. Look at that. That's Kariba. Fucking... Ghost of the attic, my ass. I need to summon a monster here that's, like, powerful. Um, so do I have any powerful monsters? I do not. Warrior. Do you power up warriors? Beast warrior. Thanks. So... No, I'll summon you and you. You'll discard that thing so I can at least get something. And then we will I will move you into defense position so I don't lose life points when you inevitably die a horrible death. And I will move you here. And then you go also into defense position, because you suck. And now we can't get to him because of this crush terrain. Man, what a fun field. 
How exciting. Alright. So this monster can move both on and off Crush. Because it gets attack bonuses in Meadow. Because of its attack bonuses, it's more powerful than like all of my deck. Well, I was going to try and beat Kaiba's side of the story in stream today. I don't know if we'll be able to do it now. Hmm. Shit. Yeah, I think I lose next turn. Actually. He just moved into attack position of your monster. I mean, yeah. here. Can't do anything with Ogre Black Shadow because life is pain. Do I have like Sword Soccer or some shit that I could summon? Spellcaster. What does this thing do? Flips all enemy cards face up. Beast Warrior and Fiend and Dragon and Sea Serpent. What is your effect? Do you do something interesting? Spellbound the opposing monster. You my friend can do stuff for me. Well, I'm actually sure he's gonna attack with this instead of this, but if he doesn't... Where did he go? Okay, he's back in this corner now. Wait a second. Can I, like, force him to, uh... Oh, I can't get there, though. Wait. Well, I can do this. I almost totally missed that. Is that what you're talking about, Bullet? I don't have enough life points to move this thing out of... to go do something else. So I'm actually just gonna... We're gonna end the turn there, and I'm just gonna hope he's actually stuck in that corner now. But I don't win the race... Oh, this is Spellbound. So I do win the race, then. Get shit on. That's in defense position, so that's okay. I knew that was gonna die. That's why I cleverly... Did not move it out of defense position. I wonder... Oh god, I have to stretch. If, uh... That thing looks so weird. Can I win this? If I just keep attacking with my zombie guy, do I win? Like, can I live long enough? Because it has, uh, three turns. Because or the monster that can kill me is spellbound for three turns. Oh, you're attacking all my goddamn monsters, man. This was in defense position still, so I don't lose. Look at that bucket thing. It's so weird. I used to have this game, but I lost so long with my PS2. Rest in peace. Well, I mean, if your computer's good, you can still uh, play it on your computer, like I'm doing right now. That's fun. Okay, so that thing is now in kill range. Because I only have 500 life points left. <laughs> I gotta stop yawning. Okay. So close. Ah, it's so close. I have to live for one more turn. What did you download it from? I think like coolroms.com or something. I just Google searched for it, honest, to be like totally honest with you. Hey, what's up, Kay? Move you here, and if you fight that, I win the duel. Okay, let's see how that plays out. I also forgot to tweet that I'm live. So a bunch of people that follow me on Twitter are probably like waiting to see if I'm go I go live. Uh I don't know if I even need to tweet it, to be honest. I think people get notified. Did I just win or did I just I lost, didn't I? Well, that was fun. I almost had it. 
Oh, Emu Paradise, I also use that. This is fantastic, absolutely amazing. What a fine game indeed. You think me a coward. I am the rule. I am, that doesn't make sense. I am the rule, I am the conqueror, I am the mighty. I am the rule. All right, fuck off. I'm gonna tweet that I'm live. Cause I forgot to do that. Yeah, I'm actually pretty upset that we just lost that, to be real with you. It's okay here, I am pro I'm here to provide advice. I think I am the rule is a mistranslation of I am the law. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. There's a lot of mistranslations in this game, and it's really funny, every time. It's not the first time that uh, we've come across a mistranslation in this series. Hey, I found it. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. Remember, you can still watch my videos to watch me fail dramatically. Yeah, Bakura is annoying because the deck limit's so low. Yeah, it's super annoying. We almost won that. I was literally this close to winning that. I just needed one more turn. He had 100 life points left. If he didn't get the passive um, 50 life points uh, every turn, I would have won that duel. That passive was literally what kept him alive. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I did just tweet him live on YouTube. It happened live. Oh, this is a pretty good monster. What does this do? Increase the power of warrior monsters. No. I'm gonna just summon that this this turn. Because this can go onto the crush space. Oh, it loses. Oh, it does get a uh, meadow bonus. Which means I can actually move it around. And counter him. Well, this is actually probably- well? Get your fucking life points back. You bitch. Alright. So I should be able to attack him no matter what next turn now. I didn't realize I also had a meadow monster like that. What? what? Oh. One thing I hate about the Reddit app, and I don't know if this happens to other people, but now I get like... Oh! By 500 points. If I combined these two, is 1500. What? Oh, does it have to be of light and earth? Oh, shit. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh. Yeah, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. But anyway, I was saying about the thing I don't like about Reddit right now is that I always constantly get notifications for stuff that I don't even follow. It's just like, this is trending right now. Um, I don't care. Wait, how come... Oh wait, I gotta flip it face up. And now can I move it? Shit, can't move it because I flipped it face up, but I gotta flip it face up to get its movement bonuses. That's so stupid! All right, whatever. Summon. Oh, if I summon Baby Dragon here, we can do some damage this turn. What is this? Increase the power of Earth monsters by 300 points. Oh, you're flying. I will still summon you though, because you're gonna do damage. Leader ability activated. What? How many fucking abilities do you have? Are you... Okay. So, life point recovery. Can I read what the... Destroy specific enemy type. Spellbind specific enemy type. He's face down. So, how is the spellbind enemy... What? Okay. So, spellbind specific enemy type. So, he spellbinds dragons. Okay, but let's... So, why is it that monsters only get the type, the movement bonus? if they're face up, which means you know the type. So why is my face down monster affected by his specific enemy type? Because technically it's, eff its effect or its type shouldn't be in play yet because it's fucking face down. That's so garbage. Like, are you fucking with me? 
That doesn't make any sense why I can't get movement bonuses and... So is that card just useless now? Like, does it just not do anything? Is it spellbound for the rest of the duel? Because that would be awesome. Whatever. Can I, like, fake him into surrender right now? I've almost got him surrounded, right? Yeah, it's spellbound forever. Neat. Well, that's good. Let's use these together. I don't give a shit, man. <sighs> okay. I just use this? I don't know. Flip your monster's face up so I know what you got. What a useful card. Alright, so this thing can kill all my monsters. This is also Dark Plant. And this was a magic card. What does this do? Boost the attack and defense of all plant monsters on the field. Well. Bloody fucking da. Power increase in the crush card space. Nice. It's one of those weird rules where it technically knows the type of the card while face down. Well, I guess for terrain, it wouldn't be fair to your opponent to say I moved my face down card too. Well, it's not fair to the opponent who is me for it to just know the type of my monster. That's, you know what I mean? Like, I get if it... <sighs> like, I get if I attacked it and it, effect and it happened. But, like, that's so dumb. Plant deck leaders instantly spellbound. Oh, hey, what's up, Chiaki? Plant deck leaders instantly spellbound dragon cards when they're summoned and destroy thunder cards, so make sure you don't play any thunder. Okay. Well. Good thing that's only half of my deck. Ha! Little do you know that that's fucking nothing that I have there. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna suck this here. I'm gonna fake him out. I think we've got him almost surrounded now. I got him right where I want him. I'm using a controller. I'm using an Xbox controller because I don't own a PlayStation. Um. Have I ever owned a PlayStation? I had the original Xbox, the 360, I have the Xbox One. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Wait, don't move him, because if I summon Neo, the Magic Swordsman, and the Legendary Sword, I'm probably fucking this up. Oh no, they are. Okay, yeah, I fucked it up. They didn't activate together. But that's fine because I didn't want to win this anyway. I mean, I got him surrounded. He's right where I want him, just trapped in this corner. If I can kill this face down monster, whatever this is, if I can kill it, there's potential here. Increase the power of earth monsters. Confusing monster types go. You can see what each equip. You can see what equips each monster can use. It could use it though. Hey, what's up, Mitchell? Thanks. I'm glad you're entertained. But I mean, he is a always oh, a spellcaster, not a warrior. Fuck me. Well, let's get rid of both of these. Considering I can't use dragon cards or whatever the fuck. This is the duel, right here. Okay, because he's now trapped in this corner, and his monsters can't uh, 
I love watching Sam rage. Literally every Yu-Gi-Oh video is me just fucking raging about stuff. I need a haircut so bad. I just looked in the webcam. Yeah, Neo Swordsman. You have that sword for absolutely no- Oh, never mind. He enchants the sword. Why does this game insist on blurring everything? The early 2000s, they were like, like this is a great graphical decision. Just fucking... Okay, there's no more salt now, because I think we just won. He's totally surrounded, and if this thing can't kill me... Please can't kill me. I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna jebate him. You're surrounded. It is time to surrender. You bitch. What, are you not gonna... Just surrender. What do you do? Watch this. I'm gonna do this for like four more turns. What are you gonna do about it? I mean, I can't talk too much shit about the graphics. I mean, it's a PS2 game, right? Like... Yeah. Oh, I mean, he can still surrender, though. My cards have to surround him. Yeah, that's fine. But, like, I mean, you can still, like, understand when you've lost. And just give up. What is this thing's effect? Weakens an opposing monster by 300 points. Well, I mean, fuck it. I don't need to summon shit. I won. GG, Bakura. This is my favorite part. Is that it- I've raged about this in the previous video, so it's like, it, it's not as funny. But the AI does this thing where it just touches each of its own cards one time for no reason. It doesn't like, do anything with it, but it's like, check me out. Hi again. Nia Sword's been here to fuck your day up. Okay, one more turn of that. Just surrender. Tup. Tap, 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 <laughs> like, so he's gonna trap the AI in a corner. He could still win if he moves to the right. Well, then he'd have to kill his big fancy monster. You should use your common sense, you don't, no, you don't have to lose. No, he should just surrender. That was it. So he's gonna trap the AI in a corner? Yeah. That's how I won against, um, I won against one of the duels that way, by just surrounding the dude. Alright, see ya, Pokosomer. This is a measure of the cat and quit tapping things. Yeah, it just does that all the time for no reason. Oh, God. That was my back, by the way, if I picked up on the mic. It felt real good. That's one of those things, again, I would probably edit out. Now, I don't want false trap. I'd take literally anything but false trap, and I'd like the mist. Nice. Nice. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, we got vile germs. Exciting. For all the plant cards in my deck. No. No way. I warn you, your next field of battle will be your last. Be prepared to meet your maker. Well, um, fuck you, Bakura. I think this is, what is it, Yugi next? Maybe. Yeah, it's Yugi. He has a deck power of 1,200, which means we can build our deck back up from this piece of shit we've had to build. Let's go, boys. In between every duel is me having to do this. Which, I, again, I normally edit out because, you know. Alright. What are a bunch of the shit monsters that we added to this deck? To appease Bakura's crap deck. Alright, we get rid of this. We get rid of Axe of Despair. We get rid of... All of these shit spell cards are gone. There we go. You can do the reincarnation. Yeah, but that's like effort and stuff. Now, kind of dragon. What did we have in our deck before? I really don't remember. Didn't have that. Didn't have that. Did we have that? We had bird face. 
I don't know if we had Animal Necromancer. We had Blast Sphere. Oh, I didn't take it out of my deck. We had the Sword Mistress. I legit don't remember what we had in the deck. But we can add a bunch of fucking monsters to it, so. I had Armored Lizard, maybe. Wow Warrior? What the fuck is that? <laughs> wow Warrior. Wow! I guess. Sky Dragon didn't have that. Um. Yeah, I totally don't remember what we had. Fuck. Well, I did have Change of Heart. So that ups the deck uh, value a lot. Aqua Dragon. It's too high of a spell count thing. What's uh, Hannibal Necromancer's effect in this game? Is it like my old spellcaster deck? All zombie monsters are increased by 300 points. That's not what I, um, that's not what my monster does. Hourglass of Courage, no thanks. Sorcerer of the Doom. Oh, there's my neck crack. I'm cracking all sorts of bones right now. First gen monsters, well, I mean, so many of the first gen monsters are so bad now. I mean, they were actually, they were still bad when they came out, but like, it wasn't this bad. I don't know what I want to add to the deck. Sky Dragon? Let's add this thing. We can actually remove a bunch more shitty monsters and add some good ones. Robotic Knight? What does this do? If a card has already been played from your hand, you can play another card. That's kind of cool. Don't really want it though. Dude. Um. Just crack his neck and he breaks it. Well, I hope not. I always crack my neck in a super weird way. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest with you. Um. Dark Hole. I don't want to add Dark Hole because it kills my monsters. Oh, I just realized that the stream looked low res because I had it set to low res. <laughs> and I was freaking out this whole time that like, wow, the stream looks like shit. It's because I had it playing in 360p, <laughs> not 1080. Yeah, but if things go bad, then I can just rage. What am I doing? What am I adding to the deck? Great bill. Let's remove a couple more shitty cards, because I can go up to 1,200, so we still have a bunch of, of... We still have a bunch of room. Get rid of Dancing Elf. So we get rid of some of these fake traps? Nah, we'll keep some of the fake traps. A little Chimera, see ya, dude. Kinshamaru, fuck you. Zargun, fuck you. Get Fiend of Reflection. We'll get the WoW Warrior. Um, what else do we want? Hourglass of Courage? Sure, why not? Is there a couple other shitty monsters here? Firegrass? Yeah, fuck you, you're shit. Petite Dragon? Well, I fuse you with stuff. What does Mystic Lamp do? Strengthens Lord of Lamp. Well, I don't have Lord of Lamp. So fuck you. Uh, now we can actually have a hype as fuck deck. Let's go. Let's add the Wall of Illusion. Maybe we throw in Hannibal Necromancer. What's Wall of Illusion do? Well, let's see. Returns enemy monster to the opponent's deck for reshuffling when this card is flipped face up. Exciting. Look at its special info. It's always good to have a field spell in case shit hits the fan. Yeah, but it, nah. I play to the field. I don't use tricks. What would Seto Kaiba think? What is this trickery? Okay, we can add two more cards. My deck likes hype. My deck's like hype as shit right now. Uh, 
And by that I mean it's summoning costs are all super fucking high. So like the first turn of the duel, I'm gonna like not be doing anything at all. Let's get Empress Judge. Can I add one more card? No. But I can actually add a couple mo better monsters. Hmm. Do we do it? Yeah. What are these? The I actually kind of like this. This one, though. Fuck you. Let's add one more good monster. Aqua Dragon is an OP card to have. Is it? I'll take your word for it, Chiaki. Boom. You have Toon Deck? I do not have any Toon Decks. Why, what, does it have like a cool effect or something? Space occupied is transformed when engaged in battle. Oh, that's actually pretty dirty. Thank you for the Ted's up tip. I did, yeah, but Jack the Ripper, I do not have any Toon uh, monsters or Toon fields. Spell kit. Do I have a full deck? I'm actually pretty content with this 1100. Oh. Is Marshmallow in this game? No. He is not, unfortunately. You bet your ass I'd already have him in this game if he was. Bet your ass he'd be there right away. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not even gonna go up to uh, 1200. I don't need to. You can reincarnate. But now I gotta. I gotta duel Yugi. I feel like he's telling me to reincarnate and I keep not doing it. I probably should, but I mean, make a dragon deck with three blue eyes, white dragons. Well, I don't have one blue eyes, white dragon, so that is part of the problem of making the three blue eyes, white dragon deck. Where do you get blue eyes? How do you get blue eyes, white dragon? So you finally come to face me, duelist. I hope you're as good as they say, because the better the duelist, the better my game! Exclamation mark. All right, well. I've got bad news for you, Yugi. What? Jesus Christ. This field is literally just... You also need a ritual card to fuse it in this game. That's stupid. Just beat Kaiba. Well, I'm helping Kaiba. Right now, so I'm not dueling him. This field? Look at this. It's just a assortment of random shit. Like... The guy who was making this, it was like 4.59. He clocked out of work at five o'clock. And they're like, you gotta make one more field board. And he was like, okay. And then he typed in like auto generator on Google, hit it, put in all the words for the fields, and then just, here we go. Anyway, I can zoom in a little bit more now. It's just random, random shit everywhere. Oh, I can't summon anything. Remember when I was talking about my deck summon power being like... Can be getting with certain monsters, you don't get in the graveyard slots like normal monsters. Hmm. Yeah, but remember I was talking about my deck summoning power being like way too high? Whoops. Uh... do this and then move you off of the tune space so you don't suck you can customize uh, your own field in this game neat I know I just remember a card that exists in this game that a lot of people use is it mirror wall because I already have that what was his turn what did he do wait why can't wall of illusion go into the labyrinth that's kind of dumb whatever How about, do we summon anything, or is my deck cost just, my deck cost is so high now? I should have known I was setting myself up for trouble with that. I beat this game 12 times, Jesus, Caleb. Well, this is my first playthrough. And if you watch the first part, I literally lost every part of it. Hey, locate the hidden card? Well, where's the hidden card? What's a hidden card? Wait, what? The fuck's a hidden card? Uh, 
let's summon you. I believe. What the hell's a hidden card? Take half your opponent's life points and give that to your monster. Oh, that's pretty BM, actually. You can't get the hidden cards yet, you need to beat the game. Oh, rip. Rip the dream. Rip any and all dreams. Alright, let's kill this thing. God damn it. Okay, you negated my attack. Oh, do I not even get to move? <laughs> what a shit card. Alright. You did it. Sam, you have to go to every space on the board to find the hidden card? What's the point of it being hidden, then? Why isn't it the fucking go to every piece on the board card? What? That's not hidden. So if, deck ma or if Dark Magician is his deck leader, does that mean that he doesn't have Dark Magician? Well, I don't want to move there. Yeah, I'm going to summon him. I'm going to subscribe. Awesome, thanks, man. I want to use, if life points, if LP is over a thousand points when this card is destroyed in battle, the strength of your monsters are increased by a thousand, and your life points is reduced by a thousand. Sure, why not? That sounds cool. Let's kill this thing. The final boss uses Ryuk. Well, shit. Oh no! Well, I guess I actually take over his effect now. Does this happen? Oh shit, this might only affect monsters that are face up. This might be actually totally useless. You don't go to every space, the hidden card is always in the same place. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Did I just spend a thousand life points on nothing? Like, do I have any face up monsters? I think I might just have spent a thousand life points on absolutely nothing. Wait, Caleb, if you weren't previously subscribed to me, how'd you find this live stream? Does it, like, show up somewhere? Am I featured? How cool would that be? Okay, it still increased their power. Alright, I was gonna be like, excuse you. Well, Burnface is strong as shit now. Wall of Illusion, well, he's on the field. That's for sure. And gives it to each of, each of his monsters? Oh, that's nice. Wait, yeah, what? I'm featured? Baller. If that's true. I don't know where I'm featured, but... These guys will kill each other if I do this. Hmm. Let's just move him back, actually. We'll just stay on the run. And we'll move Birdface out towards him for now. And then we'll summon... Actually, can I summon something that kills him? Yeah, I can. Hello. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Math. Um, think stupid keyboard. Oh. I get what you're saying now. I understand. Oh shit, what the what? I didn't realize he had a movement buff goof buff yeah thing. Uh you only have six hundred life points? That's all I need, baby. Doesn't Wall Evolution spin the card back to their deck? Oh. No, I thought it like had to die in battle for that or something. You might have been right, and I could have probably just saved myself two thousand life points. He is mirror force? Oh god damn it. But Birdface is so OP now. I actually don't think I've heard him. I don't think he has attacked yet. I don't think we've seen this animation. I like that he has Celtic Guardian though. Math was wrong. 1,100. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> the dream lives again. Yeah, you right. No! Wait, what? Celtic Guardian Spellbounds? That's some bullshit if I've ever seen it. 
Out your goddamn mind. What? Okay, I'm moving on the... We're gonna summon a monster. I don't have enough to summon Sword Stalker, but I do have enough to summon the Robotic Knight. Actually, you're stronger and have. I summon you. Conflicting types lead to Spellbound. What does that mean? Of course I summon the one monster that can't actually win that fight. Neat. We're struggling here. That's fine. It was Spellbind after battle? What? Alright, well he killed himself. That's good. Hidden cards are not the same spot each time. Getting conflicting messages here. I'm so torn. Like, if a wind monster battles a water monster, the wind monster will get spellbound. But why? This monster is so weird. <laughs> It's his attack is just a shoulder ram, people. Okay. Thanks, buddy. You did it. Light conflicts with dark. Just how this game is. But, like, who gets spellbound? Is it whoever wins the duel gets spellbound? Is that how that works? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, I can probably fight this dude, right? Do I just assume I win this and fight it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh shit, Stark Magician Girl. Oh fuck! I think I just lose now. Oh my god. Wow, that was fun. PS2 is the Yu Gi Oh! spin off experimental phase, yeah. Well, the GameCube had uh, False Guard Kingdom, which is like the thing. Uh, yeah, I'm also pretty sure she has enough damage to kill me. What is it? 35? Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool attack animation. OP. Remember when I was like, I would win that? Yeah. They always put. <laughs> like, extra effort into animating Dark Magician Girl. She's spellbound! Get fucked! I've won! Just kidding, it's only gonna be for like one turn. Now I just need to bait her into attacking Wall of Illusion. Well, I don't think I can, actually. Um... Look, 200 life points? All I need. How'd she get her attack that high? I guess the dark monster area is giving her 1500 attack. The card looks really cool negated, like, or in like the negative thing like that. Whatever the spellbound effect is. If Slate Warrior dies, he should also kill her. You use an equipped and she gets a terrain boost. Oh, I didn't see her use the equipped. That makes sense. Discard all monsters in your hand and summon Sword of well, I mean, I'm working on it. Uh, do I, I don't even know if I have summon power right now. Do I? Oh, I need to kill it and then use Mimic Card. Okay. Here's the plan. Oh, they fused together? What? I actually thought that would discard. Holy shit, okay. Nice. I know having Dark Magician as your leader increases Spellcaster's attack. Oh. Well, fun. I got a power increase. But he's still in attack, though, so... Oh, I'll still have 100 life points. And this will be crushed terrain. Which means it'll die after this turn. And then... I'll use my, uh, Mimic card to get Dark Magician Girl for my own. But yeah, I, I think I was saying this earlier and then I got distracted by chat. 
or my own attention span. But why do I lose next turn? Excuse you? But anyway, I gotta stop getting distracted. They always just ever so slightly work a little bit harder on Dark Magician Girl. In every game she's in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, they put a little bit of extra oomph into making her animations. I can't imagine why. Oh shit, no, but it also kills my metal dragon. God damn it. No, I was gonna use a monster reborn on your Dark Magician Girl, you motherfucker. That was absolutely on Dark Magician Girl, wasn't it? I pressed start. I meant to hit back. Life's so hard. Why is life so hard? No. Show me the graveyard. Yeah. Brought back Dark Magician Girl, huh? Okay. Well. Now I just have a fuck ton of crush uh, spots in my uh, in my way. So this has completely and utterly failed me. I can't even like summon monsters now. Oh, I can summon this thing still. Do I want to though? Not particularly. Oh, let's just not. Let's actually just press start this turn again. Time to turtle. I mean, I guess. You can to bring back mon Well, Dark Magician Girl's not in the graveyard anymore, though, right? Because he used Monster Reborn on Dark Magician Girl. And it has to be in the graveyard to use Mimi Card. Mimi Cat. I say Mimi Card because it mimics the card. But. Oh, Wall of Illusions, like, face up now or something. Hmm. What do I do now? Make Dark Magician Girl attack Blast Sphere. True. Is this Dark Magician Girl? Let's see. Let's find out. Summon Sword Stalker and you will get a power bonus for every monster in your graveyard, right? trust me. Well, I've also used Sword Stalker quite a few times, but I, yes, I will trust you, too. Oh, well. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. It's really cool how you can flip the monster and then it gets the movement speed right away. But heavens to Betsy, if it's up, if it's face down, better not get that movement bonus. That's so dumb. All right, whatever. We will. How's chat doing? Uh, I win this day, but it was a hard-earned victory. I think that if things were different, we may have been friends. Awkward. <laughs> Remember that time where I was supposed to side with Yugi? Whoops. Next time. Heavens to Betsy. Yeah, I did just say Heavens to Betsy. Okay. We can still win this. I don't like that this feels just like a random crapshoot and stuff. Boy howdy, though. I hope people can't hear me drinking that. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Something about, um, Sword Stalker was, would have been really powerful because I had a lot of the cards in my favorite. Oh, 
change of heart. The dream. <sighs> Alright, let's summon robotic guy. In my opinion, robotic. Or in my opinion, Mystical Elf is a huge card to try and get in slots. Well, you know. Whatever for me to lose the duel, am I right? If you line up three, you can get blue eyes. I've lined up three before, and I did not get blue eyes. I lined up three and did get jack sh or shit when I lined up three, so I was really disappointed. Did we summon Sea Serpent this early? Is this necessary? Sure. All spaces it occupies shall be now known. Oh, but it still can't move in Labyrinth? Fuck off. Round two, we've lost twice in this video now. Uh, we lost against Fukura once, we lost against Yugi once. Again, the goal today, what card did you get for the three? I got like, the, uh, Khan the Swordswoman or some shit. I didn't get a good card for it. I'll tell you that. The, today the goal was to beat the Kaiba side. But who knows, at this rate. I think we can still do it. I don't know if people would watch the video archive though, if the stream's like three hours, I think the video might be too long for people to watch on YouTube. Which is my general fear when I'm streaming, is that like, it, what if the video's too long for people to watch on YouTube after? But, oh, you have to line up three mystical elves to get blue eyes? It's kinda lame. Well, I know a few cards can move past Labyrinth. There was a joke because of, uh... Um... What was I gonna say? Its effect is, like, anything in battle becomes C. Do we put Blast Sphere here just for because for the laughs? I mean, there's only, like, five cards that can move in Labyrinth. And you don't get them on Kaiba's side. Rip. I picked Kaiba's side first, and I think everyone in the comments has slowly but surely told me that I should not have picked Kaiba's side first. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I hope this doesn't kill my monsters, by the way. This is Patrick Flynn. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, this game has cheats for cards. It does, and I've used a couple. That's how I got Mirror Wall, and that's how I was able to progress in this game even remotely. If I didn't have Mirror Wall in this game, we would have been having a bad time. Also, yeah, let me know if, what you guys think, because you're here for the stream. If, uh, to be honest, Kaiba side is easier. Oh. Everyone has said the opposite. Um, but anyway, let me know if this, if a video would be too long for you to watch on YouTube. Like, if you saw me post a Yu-Gi-Oh! video that was, like, three hours, would you just go, I don't have three hours. I'm not gonna watch that. Write down the code once you beat the story. Use Mirror Wall. I mean, I would like to use Mirror Wall. I don't have it, though. Hey, what's up, Cam New? Welcome to the stream. I can't risk moving this up because it's gonna be a fucking movement bonus on this goddamn thing, isn't it? I don't have a monster. Warrior and dragon. Warrior and fairy. Warrior and insect. Do I need to write down the code though? It's gonna be in the video. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. There's it's gonna there's gonna be video proof of it existing. It's okay if the video is long, but do a lot of people think that though? Um. So do I fuse these two together? Yes. Nope. I'm gonna move you to defense position because I have half a mind that that thing is not powerful enough. Or that thing's too powerful. And the turn. Hmm, yes. Alright. Do I have a good monster I can summon? Oh, this thing's pretty good. 
Yeah. That thing's got 1900 attack. It's pretty solid. And I'm going to attack this. Well, maybe not. It loses like a thousand attack! I don't know if this is worth. But I mean, it should also lose like a thousand, right? Ah, uh, fuck it. No balls. What is this mirror force? Oh, sick. Well. GG, I guess. I got baby dragon left. Don't do it. Too late. <laughs> What's up, crazy guy? Dark hole, the only Kaiba, you get the white hole, which lets you use dark hole without destroying air cards. Would you have to use both of them together, though? That seems too much. Alright, well, I got a lot of cards in the graveyard now, so now would be the perfect time to get Sword Soccer. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Anyway, I want to use Change of Heart on this thing and just have it attack him. Just because I want to get rid of Change of Heart. Then it'll go in the graveyard. You can amass quite an intimidating board fast, yes. Please, please be a monster. Be a monster. Hey, yeah. Betray your leader. 2800 damage, I'll take it. Wait till he starts ritualing? Well, hopefully, with 1200 life points left, he'll just lose pretty soon here. I have sword stock. Not worth it. Nah. You gotta believe. What? What? Is oh, it's just Karibo. Who the fuck cares? Virginia likes long videos? Well, okay then. You are the one sponsoring this uh, video series, so... If you are alright with Duelist of the Roses going long, then Duelist of the Roses shall go long. Oh, not Destiny Dragon. I mean, Karibo's here. Alright. Okay. Just gonna move you over here. Now would be a perfect time to summon Sword Stalker. Does Karibo take damage? Whenever damage is inflicted to life points in battle, the damage amount is reduced to zero. Okay, he does not, but I kind of need him dead to do any damage to him at all. To, or to do damage to Yugi for the rest of the duel. Is over. Yugi pretty much Destiny Draw. I mean, Destiny Draw is like his ability. Believe in the heart of the I always believe in the card of the cards. So you know things when Yugi gets Kariba out? Yeah, that's true. And then also, I mean, I like that they made Destiny draw a card in any game. Because it's literally, it gives reason to the plot of, like, Yugi gets whatever fucking card he needs. Like, to win the duel. My favorite, like, meme I've ever seen on, uh, like, Tumblr or anything is that description where, uh, the, like, main villain is like giving this long ranted thing about why he's won. He's got this monster with like a million attack. He's like dripping literal poison into Yugi's veins. He's got all of his friends held capture er, hostage and they're all like dying. And then he just keeps going on and on and then Yugi's like, not so fast. I've got this card. It's so funny every time. Um, let me see. What was Kribo's effect? Kribo's effect was any damage taken by battle is reduced to zero. So I had to kill him, but then he's got another, so it doesn't matter. The explanation, yeah, that's what I was thinking when I read it, is the entire darts battle. Like, in a nutshell. Okay. I think we're just gonna be on the run until, oh, he uses, um, Okay. Oh, Sea Serpent would be good. I can splice Sea Serpent there. The plan here now is that Blue Eyes would kill everything. Well, yeah, but I don't have Blue Eyes. 
Exodia would also instantly win me the duel, but I don't got Exo Exodia either. Is if I just kill something, because how strong is Swordstalker right now? 3,000 attack? Yeah, he's like a blue eyes white dragon right now. Anyway, fuck your Karibo. So I can actually do damage to you. Not to mention Kaiba gave his monster to power up Yugi. Oh yeah. Never forget. That darts battle was funny. <laughs> I liked season four. My monster has infinite attack points, so my monster has infinite attack plus two. Not gonna lie, even when I was a kid while watching that, I laughed hysterically at that writing. When the guy was like, yeah, when that was, when the infinity like plus two or whatever the fuck happened, I was like, why not just have some fucking effect that, uh, that kills it instantly? Don't give me this infinite plus two bullshit. Oh man, that was so funny. Hmm. I need to be able- so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and run circles around this dude. So I can, uh, get Sword Soccer to kill- kill it. Hmm. Okay, he's got a lot of monsters in the field. They're all in defense position, except this one that's, like, hunting me down. I'm gonna start sending- So I stalk her back here. Shit, of course it's weak on the one spot I want to actually use it. Um... Kriba's ability makes it so that he can teleport close to you his deck leader after he dies, but he wants. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I've killed him twice now. The ring around the rosy of this is about to come to an end because I'm gonna summon Aqua Drag or whatever the fuck this is. What is this? Sea Serpent. Here. I've actually kind of been boxed in by Labyrinth and summoning my own two monsters. I think I can make him run still though. I'm glad the AI does this stupid fucking thing every time and I don't understand why. It, it like touches all of its monsters, I d why? I'm gonna get away with this, by the way. I'm gonna, the madman will get away with <laughs> running in circles here. Cause it's gonna come up one. And the next turn, I'm gonna move this here. So when it moves up, I'm gonna have Sword Stalker come kill it and win me the fucking duel. Let's go, boys. Oh, I still have a monster over here. What are you? Baby Dragon. I mean... Okay, yeah, that's fine. You... You be over there, man. Okay. Do I have Aqua Dragon? No, I already summoned it. What is... Will this card just flip face up? All dragon monsters with attack less than 2400 are transformed into thousand dragons. <gasps> Baby dragon! Alright. I mocked you like a second ago. I can't touch him. Oh, it's because I'm still doing the summoning thing. Hang on. Alright. Now we shall summon the time wizard. Yeah! Wait, this ain't Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. What do you mean? Someone, oh, I don't have Aqua Dragon right now. Guy is in attack position if you attack it, you win the duel. Where is it? Well, I mean, I'd have to kill it. And Labyrinth is in front of it, so I'd have to, like, kill whatever is in defense position here first, too. Uh... Okay, in the turn. God damn it! I knew that was gonna happen as soon as it landed on fucking uh, dark. I shouldn't have known that was gonna happen. Whatever. I still have enough life points to uh, be alive, and it also dies because of crushed rain. So you chased me for nothing. Well, 
Actually, it dying on Crush was probably the perfect solution for it because that means that I can't win by attacking it now. <sighs> the debate. gonna kill Time Wizard. Time Wizard's just a liability to me now. Like, he doesn't need to be on the field. Stop it. Alright, do we just start attacking shit now? What was this card? It was a trap last time. Alright, believe in the heart of the cards that this isn't a trap. Get fucked, imp thing. You could have won then if Miskolov didn't die to the crush card. Yeah, that was the plan. If I didn't... Oh my god, this Toon World thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, that was the plan, was that, uh, it was to kill that thing and win the duel. I was trying to, like, beat him and then I didn't realize that Crush Card was actually gonna save him. So that kind of feels bad, but I think I can still do it. That's not gonna take damage because it was in defense position, so that's unfortunate. But, I got Yugi in a bind here. I got a lot, I've got a fair amount of powerful monsters out in the field now here too. Are you actually doing this? Okay, I thought he was going to move all of his monsters to the right one and I was going to be like... The fact that he didn't though actually kind of worries me for what this is. We can be real for a second. That that's probably a trap. Aqua Dragon's effect happens every time it enters battle. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't think that was Aqua Dragon though. I like thought it was the other Sea Serpent thing I have. Oh, I can kill Guy the first night. I think what we do here is not attack with Sword Stalker in case this is a trap. And because I can kill Gaia the Fierce Knight with Thousand Dragon. So. And he even moved it into this position. Well, I was going to say, and then I can attack directly, but I actually cannot. So. I mean, we still win the fight. Hmm. 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 I, I win this fight. Negate attack. You son of a bitch. Crap, well, it's gonna get two movement spaces. Oh! Well, that's a crush. I can't move to the left. It's likely it won't be a trap, it's likely a ritual. Alright, Zachary. I'll have you know Sword Soccer's death is on your hands. His blood is on your hands. Okay, you're right. It was not a trap. Have faith in the trap. If you attack the monster in crush terrain with Aqua Dragon, you replace the crush with C. I thought it was only during battle though. Does it stay C even after the battle? Because if so, then that's very useful. Uh, if that is true, Shiaki, that would be super useful. Because I assumed it was just during battle that his effect took place. It didn't change the space, like, literally, on the board. That would be interesting. Yes, it's Stacy. Huh? Oh. Uh -huh -huh -huh. I have a thousand life points. Yes, it's permanent terrain trait. Oh. Oh. Here's the plan. We're gonna spend a thousand life points to make my monsters fucking broken as shit. Let's do this shit. Because this has, I'm assuming since it's on dark terrain, it's gonna get the double move advantage. And it's gonna fight that thing. Or it can fight my Aqua Dragon. Ah. 
why uh, Mako is legit the devil whenever he gets it out. But, the good news is, lol, he fought me. I was gonna do it, and I would have done a little bit more damage on that terrain space, but he did what I wanted it to happen, I guess. Oh, he looks so cool in this game. What? That's awesome. Um... Gotcha, okay. If you say blue eyes dragon ten times, you get one sub. Blue eyes dragon, 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 blue eyes dragon. GG. No rate. Oh, I also killed Guy the Fierce Knight. Yugi's turn, activate Dark Hole. Oh, I mean, yeah, if that happens, I'll be pretty tilted. Hmm. Well, now what do I do here? I can't move Aqua Dragon onto this space yet, because there's no one to fight. This is actually probably Karibo again, because Karibo gets teleported to him, right? It was not Karibo. It was Summon Skull. I still won, though. Thank God. Boy, would my face have been red. If I lose that, by the way. I really... Let's stop. Well, it's like trying to jinx it by saying over and over again. What if Yugi activates Dark Hole? Shush. We almost have Yugi Trap. We're, like, right there. Summon Skull also looks cool in this game. Like, the cool... I mean, it's... I'm saying stupid shit. The cool monsters look cool. <laughs> the iconic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards look cool. The ones that are no names that literally no one would remember don't look cool. Believe it or not. Thanks to the heart of the cards. Yeah, you're right. When this thing is no longer spellbound, he can't move on to Labyrinth. I think I've basically won, because if he moves this way, a Thousand Dragon can attack. If he moves this way, he's got to fight Sword Soccer. Let's move that there for now. I don't know why, but sure. Yeah, okay. Destiny draw. Dark Hole incoming. Oh. Well. Thanks for that cool destiny draw effect, Yugi. <laughs> Appreciate it. He usually has destiny draw when he has low life points, which sometimes gives him the cards he needs. I mean, it didn't there. <laughs> that could have been bad. That would have been the perfect moment to use Dark Hole, and then I could not have won, because literally all my good cards are in the field already. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's a lot of good monsters in the field. We can get we can get Guy of the Fierce Knight, we can get Curse of Dragon, and we can get Dark Magician. Let's go. As you guys know, on this channel, I am very lucky, so I'm gonna get all of the cards I want. Oh, we actually did. Holy shit. Well, I got Feral Amp. Shit. No, I didn't. I just got Guy of the Fierce Knight. That was pretty cool. But the other two kind of suck. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, because we didn't get Gaia. But I would have liked Cursed Dragon and Dark Magician. Oh, Yugi's so angry. I've never seen him that angry. What? I lose. No, no you this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter from my cause. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear that I will one day rule over all of England. That sounds not like a good thing to do. You now have all the rose cards. It is time to head for Stonehenge. Thanks, Kaiba. Let's do this shit. That was anticlimactic. He used Destiny Draw, all the fucking lightning and thunder arrived, and then nothing. The ritual is complete. The power, the world, with the power of the cards behind us, all will be ours for the taking. <laughs> I like the dramatic shake here. I will be ours for the taking. Reminds me of uh, Arby and the Chief. Anyone ever watched that? <laughs> the time has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. 
I assume this can only go poorly. There's no way this is the end of the game. Merrick? Oh, no, that's definitely not Merrick. Merrick's not in this game. Manawadian Fablier. Man of the... Long have I awaited for this day. The guy you're about to fight uses every BS card in the game and always leads with his traps to come right at your life points, so lead with your weaker. Little do you know, I'm gonna lead with all my strongest monsters anyway. Cause you gotta take risks. The AI for the end boss is kinda stupid, I believe. You were the ones responsible for this? It doesn't seem like it would be an exclamation, it would be a question. Are you the ones responsible for this? Why are the translations in this game so bad? Know you this! First you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt. Is that me? Using him duel after duel. And then you dare to seal him away again. Unforgivable. It looks like I've failed again. Wait, why have you failed? Hold your tongue, there's no room for excuses, nothing escapes my eyes. Who is this guy? Hey, what's up, Aaron? You're about to be Rip? Please, no. I demand justice. I shall feed on you and your kind. On every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. Ah, oh, this seems reasonable. It's up to you, duelist. Seto, are you gonna do anything in this game? This evil that's awakened can only be laid to rest by you, only by defeating this vile creature. Will you be able to undo the summoning? I'm glad we worked so hard to do the summoning, then. At least that's what the legends say. Quiet, mortal. It is time to avenge my brother. Or am I not the brother? I was summoned from something. I'm doing pretty good, Aaron. Thank you for asking. All right, he has a deck power of 1800. Okay, one version of this boss uses Ryuk, which makes him OP. Hopefully you're facing a slightly easier version. Well, knowing my luck, that's not how that's about to go down, but I appreciate the concern and the thanks. Um... Oh, well, I, get, I have Gaia. We can add Gaia to the deck now, right? Let's do that. Gaia the Fierce Knight. His brother was the final boss in Forbidden Memories. Oh, I didn't play it. Hey, what's up, Siddiqui? Oh, I said that right. I think I did, though. All you have to do is watch the one with track. He will go Dark Hole and Ryuk. Get ready for the BBQ sandwich. because you might need a couple of ripplets. <laughs> oh, shit. Again, the goal of the stream today was to beat this dude. Where is Gaia again? Oh, it's because I haven't sorted it by deck count. Or deck cost, I mean. There we go. Guy of the Fierce Knight, not even that good, but I want him because he looks cool. You could also probably add Kaiser Dragon back. Alright. Should we add Dark Hole? A lot of recommendations are adding Dark Hole. So maybe if we get to a bad spot, we can do that. Let's get rid of some of these trap cards I'm not going to use. Fuck it, let's get rid of all of these and just add good cards. Alright, we'll add Dark Hole based on common suggestions in chat. Uh, maybe... No, all of my monsters are, would die to Crush Zone, so let's not do that. You got it right? Hell yeah, I did. No, you're fighting the OP version. Wait, why am I fighting the OP version? Why is Forbidden Memory such a hard game? If you guys support me on patreon.com slash Studios, maybe I'll find out why False Found Kingdom... Or... What is it? Forbidden Memories is such a hard game. Wink. Sponsor. Plug. Um... I watched your videos since Millennium Duels. Hey, what's up, man? I appreciate the long-time support. Uh... Let's just add stuff. Okay, I can add... Let's add Solomon's Law Book, too. Fuck it. That sounds good. Playing two cards in one turn sounds good. Should we add Barrel Dragon as well? What's another low-level monster I don't need? 
This is kind of a cool card. Curtain of the Dark Ones. I like the spellbound effect. What do you do? Weakens an opposing monster by 300 points. Let's get rid of you for, uh... Shift all cards in defense position. Uh, the guy on the other campaign is easier. Well, shit. I thought you said Kaiba was easier. I had Barrel Dragon. My deck cost is so high. Or like all my, my summon cost, I should say. I probably need a couple low things. I think this is probably good, to be honest with you. Lunar Queen. What the fuck is this? Allows him to get 12 stars instantly. Oh, good. I appreciate chat letting me know how good this guy is at the video game. I'm real excited. All right, let's just go with this deck for now. And then see of uh, how hard he is. Prepare to meet your doom. Well, that was anticlimactic. There was no conversation here. His spell card's skill drain lets him steal all your summoning power. Nice. I've used Twin-Headed Behemoth, or Twin-Headed, yeah, Twin-Headed Behemoth this entire series. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of Fire Reaper, because there's actually a lot of meadow cards here. So that would have been a good card to have, but I botched it. yu gi boy Dude, I'll do my uh, Pegasus impression. I try not to, uh milk it too much because it's so funny and so good but when we duel um uh pegasus on the yugi playthrough i'll bring it out we'll do it but only when the time is right um, plus he has base meter be dragon neat Okay. This looks exactly like the other monster I use on every single battle in this thing. This card still picks up the only summoning power or increase the maximum. Well, good thing you got that out in the first turn. Relatively low attack, though. Let's save up for summoning stuff for the uh, stronger monster, shall we? That was his summoning power to 12 card. Well, he used it on the first turn, so... The joke's on him. That's in defense position, so like... I'm just gonna take it. Thanks. Gate Deeg. He can use his OP monster straight away now. Hey Sam, would you ever have any duels with fans? Um, possibly. I've done it a couple times before. Uh, but now I'm a bit busier than when I was, because when I first started this channel, I was just like the beginning of college. But now I've graduated, so I got lots of stuff to be doing. So maybe, if I have free time, don't keep moving up. Caleb, you don't understand. There is no reverse button, there are no brakes. We only go forward. But there is a uh, Patreon tier where I will absolutely do a video uh, with whoever supports me at that tier. Um, I don't have summoning power yet. Again, I'm what short? Am I too short? That's fine. Next turn. He moves. What are you scared, boy? Alright, well now he's summoning his super monsters. I needed to probably win that as like as fast as humanly possible. Okay. I have to sneeze again, hang on. Whoops. Now what do we do? I have to sneeze again. That's fine though, we have Barrel Dragon. What's his effect again? When this card is flip face up, one card other than your own is randomly selected for destruction. 
I should probably wait for him to have more monsters to flip that face up, or do I just do it now? He doesn't have many fusions. Alright, here's the plan. Let's do it. I'd say you need to put your swordsman in defense mode. Nah. What card did we just destroy? What? Did, did we not destroy it? I thought it was other than my own. Wait, what just happened? Chat? Because my swordswoman's dead now. Explain to me what just happened. One card other than your own, it destroyed yours. He destroyed yours. Your own. Barrel Dragon targets any card in the field, not just your opponent's. No. One card other than your own. Okay. Well. That was fun. Other than your own makes it seem like other than your own cards. It should say other than itself. Other than itself is randomly destroyed. Like, that's fine. It's an other than itself. It's a mistranslation. Sick! How fun is that? It doesn't say itself, though. <sighs> I do have Xbox One, but since I built my gaming PC, I don't play it that much anymore. Other than own. Nowhere does it say your own. I mean, I guess that's true. Okay. Ooh, deep breaths. We're fine. We're in this to win this. I have the utmost confidence in myself and this duel. The utmost! Ah, good. Skull- well, there goes my... Barrel Dragon. I'm glad he lasted a solid turn. Yeah, so this might be a while. Swordswoman was good people. I mean, she would have died to Skull Knight, horrifically. But, it's better than that. Alright, do we just give up? Like, I already don't have a card that can kill a bat. Oh. Wait, why did it use Dark Hole? I don't have any cards on the field. I mean, okay. Um, thanks? I guess. Please don't fuse. Thank you. <laughs> we now have life again. <laughs> Is this possible? Remember when I was like, last turn, I was like, well, I don't have a monster that can kill that thing? You gotta be fucking with me. He has blue eyes too? Not only would you get a good- I mean, I'm trying to discard my uh, things, but I'm glad we have Dragon v Dragon here and I fucking lose it. I had a chance, but I also, again, don't have a monster that can kill this thing. Shit! Hey, that's first stream of destruction. There was a glimmer of hope for, like, a fraction of a second that I could possibly win this duel. It's gone now. But man, did I not think I could win. Ugh. 
The dream is now 120%. Yeah. It's 120% dead. Why does he have a blue eyes? Fuck if I know, dude. It makes no sense. Time for your own dark hole? Yeah. <gasps> I have mirror wall! More like it's time to fucking cheese my way to victory, boys and girls. I'm gonna get to a safe place, and then we're gonna play mirror wall. Because I can still win the duel if I use mirror wall and then just protect it. We're gonna place mirror wall in between the two labyrinth spots. Just keep running from blue eyes. The dream is still real. Because if I have mirror wall, then fucking blue eyes only has um, 1500 attack. Which means he sucks. So we can still do this. The good old cheese strats. Dude. I mean, if he's gonna have blue eyes and all these other BS cards, then I get mirror wall. Mirror wall is probably the best card in this game. Because it doesn't cost anything. Okay, so now that's between two Labyrinth cards. It's hard to get to. Nice. Alright. Let the cheese commence. We're just gonna- I'm just gonna- I'm gonna turtle around Mirror Wall. Why does he keep using this before he even uses all of his summon power? Who shall I summon? You. Empress Judge, who can actually almost fight Blue Eyes before his life points kick, or his attack points get cut in half. So, that's good. That's very, very good. Oh, he's gonna try and flank me. I will not allow this. Hopco! It's not attacking with blue eyes. Why? Would one say that it knows how to- that I have mirror force? He was at one summon power that took him back- oh, I wasn't paying attention. As long as he doesn't have heavy storm or mystical space FM- Shh. Of course he doesn't. Wait, what is this? Winged beast? Machine, Spellcaster, Dragon, I think they fuse. Oh, rip. I thought they fused. Even though I didn't know, I was unsure, I should have, at the very least, I should have still, uh, done the thing. Get fucked. Guess who also has BS cards? Guy whose name is very long. Me. Yeah, even because I wasn't entirely sure that those cards could fuse, I probably should have just had my dragon go first so it wouldn't get knocked out. MST isn't a card in this game? But then how can I negate card effects? That's a joke. Hashtag MST negate. That was a, that was a very old <laughs> callback on this channel. Hashtag MST negate. <laughs> Alright. The cheese has begun. Are you also going to fight? I think the AI also doesn't understand Mirror Wall, so it's gonna keep probably attacking her. Which is funny. I'm just gonna hide in this corner. I was not joking when I said the cheese strats have commenced. Um, Winged Beast and Beast fuse together. And if they don't, who the hell cares? He could get another Dark Hole. Not if I win before he gets another Dark Hole. 
I don't know why I attacked, because I forgot Mirror Wall only fucking works when I attack. Or when I get attacked. Damn it. I don't even want to see this. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw away this my own victory here. Crap. Uh, to be fair, that's actually kinda dumb that uh mirror wall just doesn't always activate, but okay, that's fine. Please have a decent monster. What is half? Okay, so his attack's gonna be 1400 when he attacks me. So this will still work. These two fuse together. Zombie and dragon make zombie dragon, right? Just in case. Damn it, I thought for sure they did. Whatever. I just need this to just stay in defense position, I guess. You don't do anything for me. Yeah, that would be great if I could get Mimi Cat right now. Yeah, I totally, I got so like gung ho about my own victory that I totally forgot that Mirror Wall only works when I get attacked. <laughs> I was so overconfident that I had the duel in the bag, that I was like just going on the offensive, but I forgot, I still have to, it's, mirror wall is still the turtle strategy. You still have to hide. This attack looks super devastating for being 1400 damage. <laughs> so, that was fun. I like the little like, strip of hair he has on the top of his head, that's really funny. No. Time to turtle. Oh yeah, it's been time to turtle. And the AI is gonna keep attacking me. We're gonna hope there is not such a thing as another dark hole in his deck. I don't think he, I would doubt he has two dark holes, right? Hmm. Better not jinx it though. Better safe than sorry. What is his monster, by the way? Okay. Ooh, with an appetite. I need, do I have anything good to summon? Move you off, probably? Or should I just wait till next turn so, like, this thing can die? Safely? Oh, no. To just kill this. What is its effect? Before I... We can... Okay, yeah, fuck it. Just destroy that for me. I don't need this. Chakra is his deck leader? Interesting. Oh, I have Gaia the Fierce Knight. He could use Ryuk twice and you would lose. Okay. But we're gonna bait him into attacking me. By keeping my cards face down. That's what we're gonna do. I'm never gonna fight, I'm just gonna keep moving. But wait, I thought Ryuk only takes half of my life points. It takes half of my maximum. It should just cut my life points in half twice, right? Which means it technically would not win. How are you gonna go in defense position? That's the coward's way out. I'm gonna move this forward just to try, just cause so he'll attack me. Yeah, it takes half, can't kill. That's what I thought. Why is he running away? Why are you running? Effect activated. Yeah. Why does he still attack? It's like the AI forgets halfway through the duel what Mirror Wall does. I mean, I do that literally all the time, but why is it doing that? <laughs> Isn't this one of the three parts of that one giant beast monster? Six God is here. What's up, Space PX? What's Six God? Is this something I am unaware of? 
He still has royal decree, which would negate your trap. Chiaki, stop! Please. I like that it flattens out like a fucking, like a napkin that you drop from the sky. No damage is his effect. I mean, that's fine. But yeah, he's one of the things of like the, uh, of that, one of the three pieces of that one giant beast thunder god thing, right? I don't like that he's putting these in defense position. But that's fine. Okay. I guess we'll just move. A six god is a god who wins duels in only six turns. Oh yeah, that's not me. That's never gonna be me. Guy the fierce knight, move him out. And then we wait again. I don't have any, like, summoning power left. That was Sujini. Yeah, he's part of the, yeah, Gate Guardian. Whatever, yeah, that thing. I used to have, like, an action figure of that thing. It was cool. I'll move you out here. I'm just trying to move monsters into positions where he'll attack me. Really. Alright, summon. All spaces within a range of one are transformed. Yeah, cool. I don't even want that. Let's fuse these two together so I can actually get a decent card. Well, I should probably have the effect one on the field. Gate Guardian 1 is usually the hardest to summon, that's why it's not worth it. Yeah. Oh, I have Gate Guardian in Duel Links. Why are we not supposed to mention that? I, like, don't play Duel Links at all anymore. I played it for, like, a day. Made a couple videos and was like, eh. There's a tag team on with Joe. Yeah, they had Gate Guardian. He was real good. Why are you putting monsters in defense position? Fight me. Oh, I could have killed that, whatever. Um, let's move that forward. I'm just hiding in this corner. Um. If a card has already been played from your hand, you can play another card. Okay, so let's summon. I have seven summon power. This is five. Okay, let's wait till next turn and I can summon two monsters. And summon both my level fours in one turn. Well, I guess that kind of is redundant. Because I could just do that this turn. Why is he putting monsters? Because he knows I'm going to win. He, like, absolutely doesn't want to attack me. Yeah, I'm scared saying the cheese is too much for him. I mean, it really is, though. Oh, half of this attack is probably still more than my- Oh, no, I got a field bonus. <laughs> Get shit on. <laughs> Look at this big, cool-ass monster. <laughs> and then my shitty little fat zombie is gonna kill it. <laughs> Get wrecked. It's got this cool animation. Oh man. He's like unfazed. <laughs> he's just got dirt on him. Like, like he gets hit by that giant attack and he's like. <laughs> that was his move. Yeah, Mimicat would be great if I could get him. Isn't Meteor B Dragon like a fusion card? Like, am I wrong? That needs to be fused. I took no damage, or he took no damage from that? Am I wrong in saying that? Okay. Oh, I would have thought for sure guy that there's night would have got a move speed bonus and not. Red Eyes B-Dragon and Meteor Dragon. Yeah, but like... Alright, let's 
let's summon you. Right? Yeah, let's summon you. Move him up here. Oh, do I have to, like, use this first? How does this work? What? Okay. That happened. Why is it a base card in this game, then, if it's normally a fusion? Nice spellbound that card. I actually wanted it to win that fight real bad, though. Uh, if it's spellbound and attack, does that mean I can kill it, though? Yeah, there's the thing for Game Guardian, but... I mean, like... LOL Duel Links. Okay, you have to fuse in this game. Oh, okay. Why isn't it a purple card, then? Oh, you set that spell and then you double. Oh, okay. That's not as good as I thought. That's actually pretty lame. Whatever, Nia, you can take this thing the whole way because it doesn't need to be on the field anymore. It is a waste of space. If cards are spellbound, someone in the chat let me know. If cards are spellbound, does that mean um, they die? Or do they have zero attack? There are no purple cards in this game. That's BM. Because they're fusion. Also, I mean, well, I guess there's a lot of fusion happening in this game, but... The purple cards are the coolest. I guess I should have noticed that there are no purple in the game. Purple cards are by far the coolest, mostly because purple's my favorite color, but... Hey, these monsters just look exactly the same. They're just stuck in place. No, oh, well, that means I can't attack that thing? Whatever. Yeah, they look exactly the same, see? I'm glad we got that fight between those two epic giants. Alright. Also, I'm glad this duel has taken, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> because the guy's just not attacking me. Do I even kill this thing? Like, what's the point? This is a mercy killing, I think. By killing this, I think I let him get another monster summon. This is actually probably not a good idea to attack this. I probably should just let it die. Also, for everyone in chat tomorrow, around this time tomorrow, yeah, around this time tomorrow, I'll probably be live streaming Overwatch if you want to stop by. I'm going to try and stream without setting up a notification and see how many people show up. Because for these Yu-Gi-Oh ones, I've been sho I've been showing notifications, but I want to see what's the difference. Also, I want to see what's the difference in attendance if I'm not streaming Yu-Gi-Oh. Because normally people only watch Yu-Gi-Oh on this channel. Unfortunate. At least I hope I can stream Overwatch. It's actually been kind of laggy for me lately. Alright. This is the end of my turn. Quit running. Why? Why? You cannot win. You know it. You know it in your heart that it is true. Uh, let's summon this thing. This thing's pretty good. Move it up. And now we shall activate this. So I can double summon. He's adapting. Yeah. I shall... He's turtling? He's turtling to counter my turtle. It's not fair. Reptile and reptile should fuse together, but they do not. Ooh, let's play this. I know I should have double summoned, but I actually want to know, what does he have? Yep. Chucky, we had the exact same idea. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, so he has some things in motion. Don't know why he hasn't activated Royal Decree yet. Hmm.
Well, his turtle beats my turtle, though, is the problem. Well, this thing will die because it's not in a tune, but it's kind of weird that you can summon a tune monster. But okay. Considering it's not in a tune field, why has he not used for you? I mean, I don't know, man. Fuck. The bad things have begun. So his turtle is going to beat my turtle and will have wasted a fucking half hour of my life. That's fine, though. I'm glad we finally get to see Barrel Dragon's attack animation, because when I use Barrel Dragon, he just fucking dies. I got to open the window. It's so hot in my apartment, and I can't have fans on when I'm streaming. Okay. Barrel Dragon also kills... Yeah, I did. Yeah, Barrel Dragon also fears, kills Gaia. You need to get rid of Royal Decree somehow, but he's also placed it in the exact same spot where I placed Mirror Wall. Yeah, I'll stream on YouTube tomorrow. All right, chat, we need, I need plans. We need plans and strategies on how the fuck do I get to Royal Decree. It has Black Skull Dragon here. And then Is this thing still spellbound? He used it. Okay. And is that why Barrel Dragon is now gonna fucking waltz all over the rest of my monsters? Chat, I need- we need plans. You have- I know, I can- I can do the math. I have 10, 25 life, but where is- what's the plan for Royal Decree? Wait until you can change your heart and see if you can- Ooh, there we go. There's the plan I needed. We continue to turtle. We turtle harder to beat the turtle. Here we go. <laughs> that's fine if I can, that's a good plan because if it lets me control monsters, he is a monster right next to Royal Decree. His turtle shall be his undoing. What does this do? Own reptile monsters increased. Mass fuse your hand to drop. Yup, that is the plan. The turtling has begun. Fish and this thing. Well, let's do the other order so I at least have a decent monster on. Well, wait, no, I did it right. Here we go. I think it lets you control spell and That's fine. I just need. I can kill it with, uh. Wait, you fuse all five monsters? You can do that? I don't even able to do two up till now. Okay. What? He moved on the labyrinth. Hack. Okay, we gotta. Oh boy, do I need that change of heart real bad. Okay. Oh, but I have so many good monsters. Okay. Oh, you can. What's the order they appear? Alright, here we go. <laughs> what? Okay. We fine. Because here's what's going to happen. This is going to attack this, and they're going to be C. You 
throw away your own cards if ones you need. Yeah. I didn't realize that you could, um... Um... Fuse more than one monster, unless it, like, specifically was for a fusion that required more than one. That helps. Dude, this guy's face. Trust in your deck and trust in the heart of the cards. Yeah, you're right. We get back in this game with change of heart. A fucking glow! That thing has the biggest glow at 3,400. Holy shit. Okay, maybe we don't get back in this game with change of heart. Holy shit. Why don't you attack? What? You're on a fucking attacking spree and you don't have Toon Summon Skull attack here? Fucking excuse me? That's why Blue Eyes Ultimate is a ritual in this game, because you can't- Oh, okay. Bingo. I think the play here is to destroy. Beast Skull Dragon is we gotta destroy Royal Decree. That has to be the move. Because then I can start winning these fights again. GG. No, it wasn't Spellbound anymore. That's why I moved to defense. That's how why I could move to defense position. Victory. Oh, I can be aggressive now. I can have this kill your fucking Toon Summon Skull. I can do it. Does it have an effect? Strong and Toon Terrain. Not strong, out of Toon Terrain. Do we fight with this? I think it lets him summon another monster if I do it though. That might be stronger. So I don't know if we want to. I think I still can't fight Labyrinth Tank. Someone do the math. What's half of 3,425? I still might not be able to deal with that card. Don't get too aggressive though. Remember what happened last time. Right, I'm still calm. I still know that I cannot attack. But you are right. Okay, I can't summon anything else this turn. Yeah, you run away. Why are you running away from my fucking face down card? Who knows, you cheating fuck AI. Other than me, I know. Blast Sphere and get rid of Labyrinth Tank. You right. 17, 13. Oh, okay. Thanks, Kite. That means we can actually still kill Labyrinth Tank. It, it attacks me. Summon's called Dramatic Animation. For nothing. Look at it. Like, it's funny that this attack... It's funny when the monster loses the duel, but has, like, this overly dramatic attack. Meanwhile, fucking Gaia shakes off. All that thunder. I also- what? I like that instead of, uh, just stabbing him, it, like, casts a spell. You've pretty much won. It's the war of attrition now, though. We've both turtled. I have resisted every bullshit effect he has by turtling once, and then turtling again. But to be fair, the turtle was- why is he attacking again? The tur the turtle was justified. Because he turtled in response. Thanks for attacking with Barrel Dragon 2. <laughs> Glad we got rid of both of these good monsters. What the fuck? It was invisible. <laughs> it like, the AI has like forgotten that Mirror Force is a thing. Granted, I do this all the time, but I typically don't do it on the same turn. Does he have Destiny Draw? I don't think so. I, Destiny Draw has to be Yugi's thing, right? 
That'd be kind of bullshit if everyone got it. Dead. Ugh. I cracked the neck. I think the AI just sees my attack is higher and goes for the attack regardless. Yeah, I think so too. I would doubt he has destiny draw. That's gotta be Yugi's thing. Okay. Was a close duel, but I think we won. Can I move this forward? Because I can attack soon summon skull and I kinda want to. I now bait him. Oh, I can't move over Black Shadow there. I think everyone can Destiny draw? Shush, don't ruin my hopes and dreams. Okay. This is what I wanted to summon as well, because this thing's real strong. Will he attack me? Because Labyrinth Tank is stronger than Gaia. Yeah, you keep running away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> I just baited the AI. I set the I set the cheese on the trap. Three times in a row, I moved Gaia into position to be attacked, and the AI was like, "I better kill that thing. I better do it." Oh my god, that's so funny. Since it can, yeah, I'll watch out for Labyrinth. Thank. Oh my god, that was really funny. Lol. I like that the tank's face doesn't change at all when it loses. Do I win off of that, or does this still go? Yep, yeah, okay, this still goes. He does have to attack me one more time. Speak of the devil, and he shall do as you ask, I guess. That's not how that saying goes, but... Oh, this, his effect's probably no damage, right? He takes no damage. What's this effect? <sighs> Fucking face. Cheese in the track, you wasty. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If it ain't cheese, I don't want to play. <laughs> to be fair, cheese is like my favorite thing. I think all Gate Guardian pieces have the zero damage thing. Yeah, I mean, they probably do. Yeah. You want to tune summon skull attacks. It won't, though. Because it knows. Still not using Ryu. This video is awesome. I'm hoping. Maybe. All right, let's, what's the math on this? 15, 1600. When flipped face up though. Let's flip this face up so he has the terrain advantage and I win the duel. It doesn't change Labyrinth though, that's really funny. By the way, in case you don't get the movement speed bonus, just remember AI. You can attack Gaia the Fierce Knight. Just so you know. Yeah, if you flip it up, the AI is more likely to attack it. We think the same. <laughs> Taking advantage of AI built in 2004. <laughs> Feels bad, man. When did this game come out? list of the roses. Wanna come out? Mid-2006. Okay, yeah. 2006 AI. We're bullying 2006 AI right now, by the way. What is this thing attacking? What is it doing? If Black Skull Dragon attacks, you win. Oh, this is a cool effect. Again, another one of those really cool attacks. Wonder what the award for beating this AI is. I don't know. I mean, let's assume, let's hope we beat it, because 
Did we lose something? Uh oh. Chat, please. Chat, please. What? Okay, we still win. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Fucking put the fear of God in me, chat. This thing gains a ton of attack if it attacks a warrior. Oh. Well. Not to be outdone, though. He still killed himself. Again, another really cool attack. Be a great thumbnail for next video. <laughs> but. That was also one. 150 life points? Not even close. Easy. Easiest duel of my life. Simple. Everyone telling me this guy was hard, I didn't see it. So simple. So simple. Alright, can I get Red Eyes Black Dragon? Give me a- God damn it. Red Eyes Black Dragon. It's Meteor Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Damn it! Feels bad, man. I wanted Red Eyes Black Dragon. Time for New Game Plus? Yeah, you're right. No. No! This is not justice. I... I cannot lose. Yeah, you can. You just did, actually. Impossible! No! You just said that already. Keep Megamorph. Megamorph is good. But guys, it's not Red Eyes Black Dragon. Who's cool? The summoning is undone. My family, legend has it that my family was the only noble line to actually enter into a pact of glory with a card guardian. But sometime in the past, the pact was broken for reason they are veiled in the mists of history. For generations, our family has searched the world in the hopes of finding the same card guardian to revive the pact and the glory that was once ours. Since that day I inherited the Book of M at Drumkill, I've searched far and wide. To catch them all was my real test. Many are the guardians I've awakened, only to return them to their resting place. To date, my search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded. You can't imagine how excited I was when I'd come to England and learned of the Rose Duelist legend. Guys gotta stop believing in legends then. Like what? Needless to say, the result was anticlimactic at best. Dude, uh, I know that. Ooh. Kite doing the math on why Gaia lost that fight, but, I mean, math is hard and math sucks. I apologize for dragging you into all this. Yeah, you do. I will honor my promise of returning you to your own age. However, I fear that that that, that is not enough to repay you for your help. I mean, he wasn't the one that dragged me into it, though. That's why I sided with Kaiba. It's because Yugi's side is the one who dragged me into it. Kaiba was just like, yo, man, fuck these guys. And I was like, yeah, you're right, fuck these guys who dragged me into all this. Book of M equal Book of Moon. Oh. LOL. Wait. Is he giving me... What's with the giant cross on that? Here's this medallion. Here, take this back with you. I will continue in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps it is my destiny to fail, but my descendants shall carry on the search. Should you meet a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. From this day onward, my family is ever in your debt and will lend whatever support it is within their power to provide. This I promise as an eternal pledge, a pledge of roses. Thanks, man. See, Kaiba's side is so much better. How is Kaiba not the good guy in this game? In the days that followed, the mystic barrier maintained by the sorcery of the cards faded away, leaving England's shores vulnerable to invasion. 
In August of 1485, Yugi successfully landed in Milford Haven. Defeating Richard III in the Battle of Bronsworth, Yugi was crowned as King Henry. But Yugi was the bad guy in this game. Fuck that. The Tudor reign was to continue on until Elizabeth I. As for Seto and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England. Never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of an inscription carved on the back of the Rose Pennant. Man is born to die. But the Pledge of Roses is born to live through, throughout all of eternity. It is a pledge recorded in Mystic Numbers. <laughs> Mystic Numbers Y34PN1SV. <laughs> what Mystic Numbers? Thanks. Hang on, we'll take a picture of it. <laughs> what a shit code. There we go. Can you imagine you're reading so? Can you imagine if your history books is like this mystic code? Blah, 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 blah. Yu Gi Oh! The Duelist of the Roses, the White Chapter Rose End. I miss. I said those words out of order. Save? Yes. Overwrite the data. Yes. Save complete. Ooh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Too bad we didn't get it. Original character design. Tashiha! I can't say that. Does it just show... Oh, it's gonna go through a bunch of cards. That's one of two. Interesting. What card does it give me? If it's not Blue Eyes, I ain't want it. There's the Harpy Ladies. Fuck that duel with my. Hey, it shows a purple card there. What? I've been cheated. Bamboozled. Why are there no purple cards in this game, but you're gonna show them in the credits? Why are you doing it? All right, let's get the credits, who gives a shit? Pumpkin King of Ghosts, I heard that card was good. Oh, can you not skip the credits? Wow, you actually can't skip the credits. Okay, I guess we're watching the credits, boys and girls. Opening movie design. In the meantime, you can see I'm playing Magic Herb Go or Magic Herb Jump. The card is Earth Shaker. What does it do? Does it shake Earths? Wait, how is Earth Shaker different than Earthquake? Wouldn't they technically be the same thing? Oh, you actually can't see. I just saw in the live stream that I held up my phone and nothing happened. Special thanks to all these people. Why can't you skip the credits? No one ever reads these. I just think they weren't that long. Dark Magician Girl. I'd rather have a more iconic card than Earthshaker. Too bad there's no cheat codes for like Dark Magician Girl or something. All the cards rain from the sky. Oh, wow, okay. So that's totally it. I activate my cheese card ghost trees, cheese strats. Yeah, you're right. All right, you guys. It shifts the position of all cards in the field and changes the terrain randomly. Oh, that's kind of cool. Never mind. That is actually pretty cool. Interesting. Maybe I will throw it in my deck. Because if I, I have to hit continue now, right? To like new game plus it, or do I have to hit new game? In the meantime, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of today's stream. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Remember, check the links in the description below, where you can find Virginia's Twitter. And thank Virginia for helping support the channel. I appreciate them. And it's also, you can find my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Studios, where you can also sponsor a Let's Play on this channel, just like Virginia did. All sorts of other cool stuff. Just press continue. Cool. Thanks, guys. Tune in next time when we New Game Plus it. And then to come back tomorrow if you're watching the stream right now, and I'll stream I'll be streaming Overwatch. And then Monday I'm probably gonna stream Rise of the Tomb Raider. And if you're watching the not live stream version of this, you're watching the archive in the playlist. Well hey man. I appreciate you as well. And you can check out other videos on the channel. You can share, subscribe, and all that kind of cool stuff as well. And thanks everyone in the chat for showing up today. It's been a lot of fun. I enjoy streaming. 
I think I think we're gonna stick to uh, streaming on YouTube because it seems to be more lively. You guys are all here. Oh, I have to sneeze. But I'm doing a cool outro. It's not cool, but I'm doing it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, thanks, you guys. Appreciate you guys in the chat. All your feedback. All that kind of cool stuff. Jet Speeder, this says thank you to Virginia. Yeah, you right. Oh. She's in the trap. Let's make this a great meme. I think Marshmallow is still like the only meme in this channel. And MST Negate, but that's a huge callback. Alright, guys. Thank you for showing up, Chiaki, and everyone else. And that's gonna be it. I'll be streaming tomorrow. And probably later. I'll I'll be scheduling a lot of my streams when I go to stream. Maybe get a super chat on YouTube and it shows up in the chat. I forgot. To, I meant to do it for this stream, but I forgot. But there's a plugin that puts the YouTube chat on the video. And we'll do that for the next uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! live stream. Sorry, you guys. So sorry that it's not in this one. But we'll do that for the next stream. Again, thanks you guys for showing up. It's been a lot of fun. I will see you guys next time. Bye.